All right, right out of the comments, we got to, can you, can you keep going with the stage? Yes, yes, I can. And uh, today seems as good a time as any. A little reminder always helps. And, uh, well, let's just say I've never been uh, guilty of, uh, uh, you know, being infected with a sunny disposition. Uh, you know, I can fake it till I make it. But uh, just looking through, I got the, the lyrics up in the background here. We got, uh, uh, we've been through hell, sewn up our eyes, found fuel in meds viewed through the narrow <clears throat> and so on so just uh, you know heads up <laughs> So far, so good. That's cool. Uh, <clears throat> alcoholics on a budget adore the, you know, Twist Top wine. Yeah, put it in a box, all that much better. I'm just saying. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, real life uh, rings its tone. I should change it to a happier, more sunny disposition. No, I'm kidding. Um <clears throat> It's, it's the wrong place for this, but I'm excited. It looks like I'm going to a show for the first time in a decade. Whoa. It, it's not Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, but uh, I should very much enjoy myself. That, that, might, that might actually put me uh, into a sunny disposition for the rest of the day, actually. Uh, wow. What, what good news. Oh, yeah, no, cheap wine. That's right. Uh, alcoholics on a budget. Twist tops and boxes. Yes, I, uh, oh, my. I remember. Yeah. No, I mean, come on. You know, it, you know we ain't got owed to the night train because no one drinks the shit. <laughs> Likes is a subjective term. I'm just saying. This author, not so much. The next one. That's a night train. <laughs> Fucking awesome too. All right, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna turn into like fucking metal Chicago. Like I get this real Chicago y feel right here. That's cool. Yeah. You know? I feel like sitting on the floor and talking to the hippies. <laughs>
going to take a, a shot at this one. There's a question posed. Uh, well, who pays the tab when you cross the line? Still you. Who writes the check? Your ass. Who's herding the swine? The WEF and the, the, the New World Order. I'm just saying. It came up the other day at work. And, uh, uh, and, and, and I got nothing against Bitcoin and, you know. Nothing against it. Nothing against blockchain or this or that. But uh, the person understood that his uh, refrigerator was going to somehow be on blockchain technology. And eventually everything will generate. Yeah. I would think and hope when uh, the check comes due and the New World Order says everything you do generates income for us. That would be that, that, would be that line. Uh, hopefully that's that line in the sand. I mean, I would think... If you're turned into the, uh, the the little engine that could, uh, I'd I, I'd plan on storming the castle. To be fair, there's some current events that hit the, with this one right now. Uh, not everyone calmly walks the line. It turns out that lots of people are willing to become paid agitators uh, that don't even belong at a uh, Hearts and Minds rally. But hey, they're there to sway hearts and minds. That's all right. I notice, uh, I notice both sides been getting their epic uh, uh, photo ops. I just wonder which way the hearts and minds are leaning right now. I don't know. I can't tell. I I can't tell who's willing to calmly walk the line, and uh, who can see outside the pen and uh, longs for survival. I have some ideas. I don't know. Enough, this might move up to the top. This might be the coolest fucking Avenger 7 Full song I've heard. I really like the horns, right? I, I like Herb Albert and some. Yeah, I don't know. I have a very varied taste. It's a quite eclectic. And uh, this is just. Uh, uh, f lyrical content, awesome. Tons of shit to well, think about. Interestingly put. Uh, in no way do I think I'm so uh, understanding and wise or, you know, that I understand it all. I think that'd be pretentious of me. Uh, you know, I can always take what the artist says shit's about. But uh, I always use the Fargo analogy or story the based on true events. I don't really care what people say. Yeah. Natural. Fresh. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever the meaning really is, is that's, I think that's that individualism that uh, people cherish so much. Well, how you take things. It, it, I, I just never been one size fits all. So, I mean, except for specific ideas, right? If it's a, you know, direct quantifiable quote, then A, it probably means what it means. But when you're playing with uh, symbolism, metaphor, analogies, you're, you're 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 writing poetry over you know some you know progressive metal Chicago esque uh, horns piece. Hey, you know, I don't know shit. All bets are off. I just think it's it's probably by far maybe the, my favorite song so far because that this yeah this is very cool.
cheated a little and read ahead to the end. And uh, now I, you know, I'm thinking this maybe is uh, reflections on it all coming to a sweet release of nuclear annihilation. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You got the radiation. Now when the clouds uh, kiss. I, I just, you know, maybe a mushroom cloud rising in the distance is, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've addressed that so many times. I don't have that uh, lingering fear. You know, I've, I've watched the Terminator too much. You know, I'm guessing I end up a shadow on the sidewalk. I don't know. That I can't control that. That spends, it seems like I could, uh, it uh, serves me a zero purpose to worry about that kind of shit. It makes me easier to control when the fear of that is all everywhere, but it's a, something to, you know, give me a reason to get up in the morning. Eh, not so much. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I you know, would hate for it to be, but, you know, what can you do? I, I you know, I'm, this rock falls out of space through my house into my melon. I, I, I can't really spend any time worrying about that. It's like all the little mites that live on my eyebrows. I know they're there. The, the, the people that are consumed with that, that's got to be rough. I'm just like, all right, let's coexist. I hope they got little bumper stickers on their shit. But uh, being worried about it all, I don't know. I worry about uh, uh, bad ideas that infect my community more than, you know, my mortality. I don't know. But in the end, I think these uh, kind of, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea still. I think it was still think it's by far the coolest fucking. I, I you know, I like, in case it wasn't known, I've, I listened to Avenged Sevenfold back in the day. I have nothing. I think they're awesome. I just don't know their whole, right? It's like Overkill. I, I, I don't know every single song they put out, but man, I, I got nothing bad to say. Uh, from the beginning of their career to the end, quality uh quality offerings uh, uh i i like every bit of avenge sevenfold so everything tends to work uh uh let's let the radiation uh, uh wash over us the toxics seep into our soul we'll wrap this thing up but uh, yeah this is very cool great tune <laughs> I need this shit in my ride. No, no, no. This is so. I think the lyrical content's awesome, right? I think, I think if I wasn't getting lost in how badass the tune was, I could think deeply about it. I think that's my favorite songs of all. That yeah, I can listen with one ear and you know rock out with my um, uh, you know, as I'm driving. And uh, and if I listen closely. I can pick up a whole nother level to it all. I really like that. It's like that was what I didn't understand about rap, that it wasn't just the the same ideas over and over and over uh, peppered in there were uh, deeper ideas and then multi-levels of understanding. And it was like, hey, it's a little more interesting than I thought. It's a lot better than I expected. I figured it'd be good, but I didn't think it'd be going on the short list for a while. I will um I will hook this up at work. I finally installed a program to uh, listen to music that I want instead of just my own. I am very excited. This is I'm listening to this shit tonight, but just this track. I don't want to. I ain't gonna ruin the first experience. I actually kind of like that part. And uh, yeah, 
Yeah, man, I'm so glad this came up today. That is some good shit. I like that a lot, and I would I would wrap it up with this. Uh, since the beginning of the channel, I have I have consistently not made much sense to some people. Okay, I get that. Peppered within all those reactions is uh, quite a few references to the man behind the curtain, the the Wizard of a you know the Wizard of Oz, the illusion of understanding what's going on and the person pulling the strings is really right behind the curtain. The illusion of it all. Uh, I don't, uh, as a uh, firm believer, uh, uh, you know, one of my soul and some other things, I, I, I'm willing to talk about the, the simulation all day. I love that shit. It's awesome. It's exactly the same contextually to, uh, you know, design so I don't really care it doesn't it doesn't I don't uh, I don't actually have any sacred cows they're all just um, um, righteous ideas I think noble ideas I don't, I don't know if they're actual uh, uh, tangible items just ideas and I don't care what the story passed down was ancient alien involvement, this, that, the other. I, I don't know. I just know that um, this grind for a few people to succeed storyline, that has to be an illusion that was sold hook, line, and sinker. And hey, just thinking about people having that thought in their head really gives me a sunny disposition. So I'd say this was a win, 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 and a win because I really, really, really liked that. That's, that tune. That was some good shit. Later. <laughs>